Hit that block and sell drugs. That, oh, shit. My bad, man. Oh, uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. First Blood, First Blood. You're lucky if you get that first blood. Uh, BK, uh, this is your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the People's Town, coming to you live. Uh, with yet more ass wax and red live and direct from the place that we'd like to respect and refer to as ass facts. And y'all already know what time it is. Who is this behind me shooting at me with this shit? I don't know who it is. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to wax that ass. Jay Easy, face back, four, three, excuse me while I lay down. Yeah, and it counts. Two beats, uh, payback, some motherfucker. Hey, man, look, man. Look at you see my homeboy quarter key. He was trying to get some um We were trying we was playing in the vision the other night, man. He was trying to get it in with your boy. Hoo hoo hoo! I got the predator. Y'all see what the class I'm running right here, man. I got this uh look hold, excuse me while I whip this out. One motherfucking, two motherfucking, three motherfucking, yes! Two piece! Uh -huh. man, I'm in this motherfucker! And uh Harriers come out and play. I thought there was one of the dudes, man. I figured, look, let me get the fuck up out of here. I already knew that this dude was probably gonna have some type of dumbass shotgun or something. He's just gonna blow my ass away in that door. And yeah, we getting right to the action. You see me, I hear him running by. Well, look, he got the shotgun. Look, he got the shotgun, but I backed up and hit his ass with the M93 and dropped him like a bitch he is and the bitch he has become. But, um, look, oh, 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 it's prime time. Let's get this shit started. PP7 number six. Gotta be extra stall in this motherfucker. Hey, this mouth, you think about this stuff, put on himself because I wanted it all. And look at this shit, man. This motherfucker killed me from far away. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Look, I was playing, look. I know I had put up a video in a little while, man, but uh, I just been having a lot to do, man. LJ, uh, we had to take him to the doctor or what have you. Uh, they said he has uh, what's called sensory processing disorder, which means that he's smart as a motherfucker, but he just there's just some things that he interprets differently than than, than regular human beings. I, I don't know what the fuck you want to call regular human beings, regular motherfucker, regular niggas. I don't know, but uh, you know, I think they said it's um. Yeah, it's something that uh that he's just gonna need some uh we just gotta do some occupational therapy for him and then he gonna be fine. I mean, from what I've been reading, a lot of people go through their whole life and don't even know that they have it. Especially like, you know, when we were growing up back in our day, a lot of people go through stuff and didn't even know they had an ADHD. Um, you know, some people probably had uh you know some uh little uh what they call it, uh Jay's face back four three. Yes! And it counts the touch of Asperger's autism or what have if I don't know if that's on the autism picture, but you know um, uh, OCD, all the stuff that we probably had when we were little. Now you, you, we know somebody had some when we were coming up, and and we we're like, you know, he ain't quite right, but you know, and then the person turned out to be completely fine because they found out a way to cope with it, but there just was no name for the shit back then. It seems like nowadays that we we just name everything, like every fucking thing on the fucking planet, really, and um, and we put some to an account. I think in some cases we make more out of it than than what it is, but. The truth of the matter is, y'all seen LJ, y'all see LJ talks, walks, reads damn near. I mean, he does everything, so it's just like, I don't know how, it's, how it affects him, you know what I mean? So it, it just is what it is, man. We're going to see how it goes. I don't think it's anything that's going to affect him later on in life. I just think that it's, um, that it's just something that's right now. It, you know, it just makes it hard for him to do certain things. And I really think the really the, really the only thing is uh, he don't like, I, I, I really don't know. I have no clue because... To me, he's normal, but uh, you know, when he just doesn't interact with other children the same way. Like, he'll play with you, he'll do stuff, but if you touch him in the face, he might just go the fuck off and whoop your ass or something like that. I mean, y'all saw when he was born and the lady tried to wash his face, and he was like, Take, get this shit out my damn face, bitch. Like, he just literally grabbed her hand and pulled it out of his face. So he's never like that, but um, I guess that's why he was biting because, because the way that he interprets somebody being close to him. It's not like he, he doesn't like anybody to really be close to him if it's not an adult or something. So if you're close to him and you don't and you can't make him feel secure, which is you know being an adult or something, then he interprets it as you know, uh, he 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 perceives you as a threat. So I guess he bites you or whatever. Like, but he can hug you and it's completely fine. Uh, because I've seen him do that. He hugs people that makes him feel comfortable. But if, but if you grab or hug him and he's not inviting you in, 
then he just he doesn't like it. So it's just like, you know, it's one of those things where we, you know, they, they already told me, you know, we're going to do some therapy. We're going to do a couple things. We're going to work through it. And, uh, and you know, we got the predator missile in this bitch. But anyway, you know, we're going to work through it and we're going to see how it goes. But uh, here we go. One motherfucking, two motherfucking. What the fuck was that? But, uh, you know, we're going to work through it, man, see how it goes. And um, like I said, I've seen so many people, even here on YouTube, get your ass killed for the last kill, bitch. Even here on YouTube, they talk about it and they just say, you know what, it doesn't stop you from doing anything. It just makes some things more difficult. And I think um, the way that it really ends up manifesting itself in most people is is, is uh, like a social anxiety disorder. It kind of looks like that. But, um, you know, like people just don't want to go out and stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I told him, I mean, that's my child, so I'm going to be behind him. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, hell. If, if he got to live with me for the rest of his life, it, it just is what it is. That's what I brought him here for. You know, ain't no expiration date on children. Hell, your mama still worried about you right now if you grown. So it is what it is. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes, man. Um, but like I said, I don't anticipate that. I think he's going to be completely fine, but he may just have some social anxiety. And that's fine because I don't like you motherfuckers either, man. I don't like motherfuckers outside my house either so you know idiot what it is i'm fucking with y'all but anyway uh that's it man i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ holla 360 out this motherfucker hey if you know anybody that uh has uh spd tell me about your stories and your um your triumphs or your tribulation if you got it you know tell me tell, just tell me about it man help your boy out man i need your help on this one Philly, I see you. Go watch Philly last video too, man. That's my dog. Free body in this motherfucker. I'm out. Peace. That was so fucking epic. <laughs>